Fox. You're watching it. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. On the other side of the river, that's the main reason why we have uh, the problems we do that rest over there. Now our apprehensions now are 1,300 a day, which is more than most police departments get in a month or a year. Um, and that's increased uh, 100% since a couple months ago, where we used to average about 650 aliens a day. Now we're up to 1,300. We're just talking uh, two or three months. We're not sure what the big uh, draw is all of a sudden, but uh, we're trying to get a handle on it. What we have here is a subject with a large bag. It could be uh, contraband. It may even be clothing. Um, I suspect he's probably an illegal alien. But we'll find out shortly. Uh, unless he's got a criminal record of some sort, uh, we'll probably just process him and give him uh, an opportunity to go home voluntarily if he doesn't want to go home. He has the right to uh, see an immigration judge and go through the court process if he desires. Complacency in this job will kill you. You're dealing with people you don't know who they are. You could be dealing with terrorists from all over the world. And we have caught at least 140 different nationalities crossing this border. We're not dealing with just Mexico. Let's see, our guys just made another drug seizure down at the, the West Cement Bridge. So we're going to go see what kind of what kind of stuff we've got there. Apparently, we've got marijuana and cocaine in this seizure. Uh, it's not a significant amount. It's about 145 pounds of marijuana and about seven pounds of cocaine. Uh, we're going to go check it out, and uh, we'll run a test on it, see exactly what these guys have got inside here. Okay, we have a. This is a cocaine test kit, and it's a, a definite positive. And this is the bag here, John? Yeah. OK, this is the bag. And this is your white powdery substance, which uh, the, uh, the agents presumed was cocaine out in the field. And uh, they made a positive test on that. But this is what was wired to, to be a bomb. Yeah, it's, it's cut up now from uh, you know our investigation mm -hmm. out on the field. But uh, the way it was packaged and everything like that, we thought we had a well, there's, there's certainly an obvious discrepancy between the two uh, two yeah. bundles here. All right. Yeah. Good Looks like right? marijuana. Smells like marijuana. It is marijuana. It's a positive test. This is a real good bus, guys. Real good. The cameras are uh, invaluable. Uh, it, it helps take the place of a, a lot of agents. It's. Uh, it can give you the eyes that we need out on the border to see where the aliens are coming in. And we can use the agents to uh, apprehend the subjects. We've got three right now behind a box car, behind a tire shop. But it looks like they're just sitting it out for a while. Apparently, we may have a unit down there, and they're just watching the unit. Once that unit leaves, they'll run in. Of course, they can't beat the camera. Well, Boda, we got another group of three going up 54 in the southbound lanes, uh, probably about five minutes behind that group of 12. All right, we're going to go down to the Bridge of the Americas. It's, uh, it's known as the Free Bridge. Oh, you can be able to see the entire river, and you're going to be able to see the aliens being uh, uh, brought across on, in those rafts. I think we're going to move over a little bit here. Here, a group of people making contracts right now with Raspin, and they'll bring them across the river, charge them a fee to bring them across the United States. Those same people will make arrangements with uh, folks across 
on the U.S. side uh, to take them all the way up to the airport or to other places. What these folks are going to do, they're going to come across through this fence, and uh, we'll keep an eye on them, see what happens. Well, this is the guy that just came across in the boat. He's, he's not waiting for anything. 5034, uh, dark shirt, blue, uh, blue jeans, going for Stanton Street Bridge. Okay, now watch this. Now these guys also came across the boat. Now they're watching to see if this guy gets picked up. You see? Now once our agent gets tied up with this one down here, they're going to make a run for it. So, uh, no, I think he's coming back. This whole area here behind these apartment complexes is an entry for these aliens. Uh, they can cross anywhere along the border, get behind that wall, which is uh, six and a half feet to eight feet high in some places, and they disappear. Uh, we have to be on both sides of that fence to be able to catch these folks. Well, I'll have to have somebody on the outside here to see where they've crossed the fence, and then a couple more people on the inside to try and run them down. Okay, we've got some more that are getting ready to come in. They're in amongst the trains, so they'll be coming in down this way. I'm going to be getting out and then going in between the apartments here. Control 34, did you say th uh, three crossed over here at the scale? Big three individuals crossed between the scales and the catwalk. They're crossing pretty quick. Okay. Two more coming in right in front of the scale. Right in front of the scale. Two more coming in. That's incredible. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. All well. <laughs> Left his pants behind. <laughs> This is one of those instances where uh, to pursue them out into that traffic there it would end up with a fatality and uh, I ain't about to get a fatality on my hands for something like this. So they'll come in later. That's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And there's always tomorrow.